parents often come to me and say, I feel like my athlete's getting overlooked by their coach. Well, I'm here to tell you, the reason they're not earning more playing time has nothing to do with them getting overlooked. My name's Jeremy Gritton, and for the last 13 years, I've had the privilege of helping hundreds of athletes get off the bench and into the game, where they earn more playing time, they have more fun, they start to have more victories, and they start to create more confidence in their abilities. Today, what I wanna do is give you an insider tip. As a former college basketball coach and the son of a Hall of Fame coach, I'm gonna give you three insider secrets that'll help your athlete get on the coach's radar. My dad was always saying to me, I'm looking for the next guy. I'm looking for the, he was a, a boys basketball coach. I'm looking for the next guy. I'm looking for the next person to contribute to the team. Maybe at the end of the year, maybe it's next year. He had his, per he said, my peripheral vision is really good. So I'm gonna share with you three ways that you can help your athlete get on the coach's peripheral vision. Number one, show up. If there is a team function, practice, game, get together, make sure they're there. If you have an underdog athlete who maybe isn't the gifted athletic player, get them to everything. Number one is to show up. And within that, get them there. If they're not driving yet and you're driving, get them there first. Coaches start to notice that. And then, Teach them to stick around. Teach them to help and be an asset to the coach, even if they're not playing, but they're just starting to get to know the coach and the coach is seeing them get there early. They're always at practice. They're there early. They stick around. They help out. Showing up is a great step one. Number two, coach talk. Teach your athlete to communicate with their coach rather than you doing it or they go to the coach and they say, coach, I wanna earn more playing time. Why aren't you playing me as much? Teach them to say, coach, how can I help the team? How can I help the team have more victories, have more success? I mean, you can feel that, right? The coach is gonna to respond to that a lot better than, why aren't you playing me as much? I wanna play more, or as a parent, if you come in and say that. So teach your athlete how to communicate with their coach. Number one, this one is for parents. Specifically, don't be a sideline screamer. Don't be yelling at little Johnny or Susie like, shoot it, pass it, dribble, steal, right? There's 10 people in the stand screaming, their teammates are screaming. The coach wants one voice. And if they're constantly looking up there at you and wondering what to do and they don't know who to listen to, they're not gonna have as much fun. There's no way. So be the type of parent that a coach is looking at saying, you know what, they're supportive. They always have their kid here on time. They don't let them miss stuff. They obviously are teaching them how to communicate and they're not screaming at their player during the game so that I can coach them. That is absolutely going to get your athlete on the coach's radar. It's hard to help an underdog athlete earn consistent playing time. It's not something that happens overnight. But if we can teach them these are life lessons that you as a parent can teach your athlete and, oh, by the way, help them earn more playing time. So I get it. As a parent, nothing is more frustrating than to see your athlete get upset and feel like they're getting overlooked. So this can help. If you would like more, a deeper dive into how to help your athlete get off the bench and into the game, so they have more wins and fun and successes, then I'm gonna offer you a free strategy session with me. And during that time, we will talk about your athlete's goals and where they're at. And I, you'll be able to walk away with three very specific strategies that you can share with your athlete to help get them off the bench and into the game.